All right, it's about 11.47 on Monday. Um, it's the start of our week. And I am starting a little bit later today for breakfast because I did have to do some errands this morning and they were really sleeping. They had a lot of food left over from last night. So um, yeah, but they did eat all of the food from last night. So <laughs> we have to make some breakfast now. This is new ferret Momo. She is deaf, but she is super, super, super cute. Petite and adorable. Absolutely adorable. <laughs> Then we have brother Appa, so we have Appa and Momo. <laughs> Appa's a big boy. Appa is a big, big boy. Hello cutie. Ready to have some breakfast? I know, I know. Alright, so a little disclaimer before we start the video. Appa and Momo are newly transitioned raw ferrets from kibble. Uh, so my menu is a little bit different right now, especially since Momo has a severe allergy to hooved animals. So anything like venison, beef, and I'm not completely aware of that as you'll see during this video yet. I've only tried beef and veal for the most part, but and then once I try venison you'll see what happens but I suspect she has a severe allergy so I usually you know feed chicken turkey duck beef pork venison lamb all of those um, different proteins since the more proteins you have the better the diet is the more variety uh, but because of Momo's allergies and I don't want to have to separate them for every meal I just separate them on organ days right now and then um, I've sort of minimized the amount of proteins that I have per week right now, which is kind of sucky. Uh, I don't like to compromise the boys' uh, meals because of Momo, but I want them all to be able to eat comfortably together right now. So for the time being, I'm only feeding chicken, turkey, duck, and rabbit. For right now, you'll see throughout the video, I have very minimal proteins, so um, don't be alarmed. I am completely aware of this. You should always shoot for more than three, but because of Momo's allergies, I've kind of had to improvise this week, as you'll see. All right, so Monday morning, we are feeding ground turkey that I got from the grocery store and some venison liver. I don't usually feed this on Mondays, but I think the Sunday before this, I was having trouble getting some of the ferrets to eat it, so I figured I would just have it transfer on over to Monday. So usually I do not feed organs on Mondays, uh, but I blended it all up together and now they are um, eating it. And of course, this is the meal that Momo was allergic to, which I'll talk more about in a second, but look at how cute Appa is. He's so cute. Ah, oh my God, so adorable. All right, so a little update. It is 5.30 now. I don't usually feed um, dinner this early, but there are a couple reasons why I am. So um, they ate like half of the soup that I gave them and um, poor Momo had a very bad reaction to it. I think she is either um, sensitive or extremely allergic to most uh, red meat. Um, she's vomited with beef um, and that's venison, which she was okay with before, but now it was a little bit too much. Um, it was really bad, and I want to avoid that, so from happening again. Um, it's not super uncommon for a ferret to vomit when eating raw, but it should only be like, a, like, oh, let's say they swallowed a bone funny, or, you know, something isn't agreeing with them, but, uh, this was pretty bad, so... She's fine with every other meat, and she's completely fine, normal, like, otherwise. She's not dehydrated. She's um, perfectly fine otherwise, so um, I'm going to be making some food for her that's separate from the boys. So for Momo, I'll show you what I'm going to feed her. It's um, their raw bites, so they're commercially made, uh, like, commercial raw type food um, that she really likes, so I'm going to make that. And then I'm going to cut up some chicken wings for the boys, uh, see if they like that. I know that pots and how well, I'm not sure about Appa. Momo might actually want to eat that as well. I don't think it will give her any issues since it's just chicken, but um, I didn't want to give them something that Momo couldn't eat if she wanted to. 
I don't want to have to watch them all night um, to make sure that she's not eating their food and they're not eating her food. Now this is the stuff I get when I have picky ferrets and I'm trying to transition. This worked with Patsu and for Momo to help them get onto a raw diet. Uh, the ingredients are not great, but if you're only feeding it short term, you know, it won't do any damage. And then this is the chicken wing that I got from the store. What I used to cut my meat are a pair of scissors and then a cleaver. I kind of use the scissors as an extension of my arm, like to hold the meats and whatnot so I don't have to wear gloves. And then this cleaver is just a cheap one from Walmart. It's been doing a good job so far, but basically I will take out meats to dethaw, and when they're still slightly frozen, that's the easiest point to, you know, cut into them like this. For Momo's food tonight, I have the raw bites mixed with some warm water, and then I use a fork to press it down and mix it together to make a sort of paste. The more water you use, the more palatable this is usually. The ferrets just love to drink watery soup, but the thicker it is, you know, the more nutritious it is. So it's still Monday <laughs> and um, it's about like 1030 at night. They actually ate all of their food already and I don't want them to go until tomorrow morning which is about 730 when I feed them again. My audio in the video cut out here but I was just explaining what I have. I have egg yolk, some frozen raw bites, and cut up duck neck. The cut up chicken pieces did very well with the boys and Momo, so they ate it all up and I'm going to feed them some more food now. So here we have um, Tuesday evening's dinner. I fed quite early today at like 5 right when I got home because they had eaten all of their breakfast by noon. <laughs> They're going through a lot of food. I think it's mainly Appa because he's so big still. He kind of, um, and they're also quite young still, so they need to eat more than normal, but <laughs> I have a lot of meat here. It's just more cut up chicken wings and bones and whatnot. Hi! Wednesday mornings is always heart, so I've got chicken heart and I'm gonna break it up first before putting it into the blender with some warm water. I recommend getting a separate blender from the one that you use normally for your meat soups because your blender is gonna start smelling bad regardless of what you use to clean it. Just a tip. <laughs> Okay, so we need to place a hair today order um, in order for it to come in on time. This is the website that I order my meat on. They are from Pennsylvania. The only annoying thing is they're shipping, they're shipping stuff and how they only ship on Mondays and Tuesdays. So you have to remember to get your order in on time or you have to wait until the following week. But anyways, what I really, really need is um, chicken necks. So we're gonna go to chicken. And then it has pretty much every chicken product that they offer. I do need a lot of chicken necks, so I like to get two and then add to cart. And then see, you must meet the minimum of 10 pounds, so this is what makes it expensive. Yeah, it's pretty unfortunate. I usually end up spending uh, at least, you know, 50 bucks on an order. It's hard to get under that. My hair today order made it by Wednesday and it was just dethawing while I was at work for a couple hours at the end of my shift. So this is what my meal prep process consists of. I don't prep, you know, for the entire week. I sort of just like to pick and choose what I want for each day since I have four ferrets and they all have different needs. So, you know, some days, oh, let's say one of them has a little bit of a looser stool, I want to feed more bone than usual, etc. So, a lot of people like to pre-make the meals for the entire week, entire month, but I just can't plan that far ahead. So, I like to just pick and choose when the day comes. So, I'm going to save one neck for later that day, but that's what my process looks like. On certain days, sometimes I like to feed a little bit of a snack. So on Wednesday afternoon, I fed one singular duck neck for them.
Thursday morning, more ground duck. I scored some gizzards at the market. I'm gonna use my little food scale to measure out what is in each bag. I think I only made two bags out of this one thing of gizzards. And of course Dobby gets in the way as he always does. This is Friday evening and my process for doing my first organ meal of the week, aside from the heart meal earlier. This is my most favorite day. I love blending up liver and kidney, haha. <laughs> but <laughs> this is for Patsu, Appa, and Howl because again, Momo sensitivity. So the reason why I blend it is that I can make sure that they are all getting exactly what they need in the exact amounts rather than leaving cut up pieces because they'll just pick it and choose what they want. I want them to eat all of it. So for Momo, I just got a lot of raw bites. This, I'm going to make two servings here. So one for later in the day, I'm going to do the same thing, mush it up, add some warm water. I'm going to put a little squirt of salmon oil. They usually get one to two pumps of it a week. Saturday I didn't really film much. I accidentally gave them their organ meal today instead of Sunday, so my mistake, but it's pretty much the same as the other days. Sunday morning we have bone-in pieces of rabbit and chicken because I found out that Momo so far has done good with rabbits, so that's another protein that I can feed during the week, which is awesome, even though it's, of course, one of the more expensive ones. And I just put in a little bit of water for them, helps entice them, and that um, also the meat kind of stays good longer. It doesn't, you know, dry out immediately. I'm not gonna film Sunday night's dinner meal because I am exhausted. <laughs> filming this week. I know it's not, you know, a really difficult video that I've been working on this week, the one that you're watching, but I just want to get it edited. I want to get it out there. I want to be done with it. So <laughs> the Sunday meal tonight is going to be either more muscle meat or bone and meat. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked meeting Momo and Appa. Super excited to have them a part of our herd here. I absolutely adore them and I plan on making videos talking more about them soon once I get to know them a little bit more, but I will see you guys in my next video. And again, thank you for subscribing, commenting, liking as always. Thank you.